I did dye my hair blonde, here's the tea. The tea is that I'm wearing a wig. Let's do a wig try on haul from Amazon, let's go. Y'all, I'm sitting in a hotel room with six Amazon wigs that we need to try on immediately together right now. I've only tried on one, so let's get into it. I'm just gonna put on a little hairnet that came in one of the six wig packages. This one is just like a black mesh kind. This is not like a wig install, like a good one. This is literally just to show you them. I want you guys to tell me if you think if I actually did some more research, learned how to officially install a synthetic wig, if you think it could look believable because they're all synthetic. There's a hole in it, oh my god. You know, I think this will do for now. We're gonna see what she looks like on. Let's start with this one. Uh, these are all synthetic wigs ranging from about $25 to $30. Alright, what do we think of our first wig? Obviously, if you actually did wear this, you'd have to do some major plucking of the part and like the hairline. To me, it looks faker than fake, but I do love the color and I actually love the cut and I wonder if you could make this one work if you made it less shiny and if you plucked it out but it's a really cute haircut all my wigs i got basically have bangs or side bangs because it kind of helps make it look more realistic although they still don't look that realistic but let's try another one on <laughs> these bangs though all right let's try on this like brown wig whoa wait 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 i need to brush this out Okay, let me comb. Some of these I've opened and I didn't store properly. That's why they look like this, by the way. They don't come in the package looking like that. Wait, what? Okay, this wig is actually so, so cute. It definitely tells me that I could be brunette one day, which is my natural hair color. I'm a very, very light brunette but I probably want to go a little bit darker and I love like the layers in this, the little bangs that you can kind of move off to the side. It's making my eyes look super blue um, and I feel like this parting obviously isn't good as is, but I feel like it's one that you really could actually maybe save the day on and because it's bangs, it's not as noticeable with the hairline, um, but of course you could pluck that and really glue that down as well. Um, what do we think? I actually love this wig. Like. I feel like I want to wear this for like a date night or something just for fun um, if I can make it look good but like the way it's like layered in around the face is so good Amazon okay let's do the next wig okay this is some other blonde wig let's try this one on she looks a little crazy oh. <laughs> god help me all right, this one's super cute. It's different than the other one simply because of the color. It's got some brighter pieces in there. There's obviously like a root melt happening. There's like a kink, I don't know if you can see it, that I would need to apply like low heat to to get out. And I also feel like this one, I'm not wearing as tight. Like I need to wear it tighter so it lays flatter um, because there's nothing like it looking like it's bulging off your head. But I do love the layered haircut. I love these bangs. They're like nice and wispy. And like I said, if you use low heat on synthetic, you can kind of help reshape. So you could always like use a round brush on the bangs if it was super low heat and put it in a roller to cool. And then it would help like reset it if you ever do get weird kinks in synthetic wigs. But I wonder if I can make this one work. She is really, really, really cute. I mean, I don't know if I could, but I do really like her. And I think I prefer her over the other blonde for this style. If you're gonna do like the blowout look, I think I like this one more. So definitely really good. And Amazon's kind of kind of slaying with these wigs. So let's do the next one. We are gonna do another brunette. I honestly, I don't have high hopes for this one, but let's see. All right, so I really, <laughs> I did want to like this one when I bought it, but I wasn't too sure. First of all, I feel like the color looks like gray and there's like the weird highlights in it. Um, I love the cut, I do, but it's a little like witchy, gray, weird vibes. I don't know, I'm looking off in a mirror over here. I think the color's just wrong, but I do think the cut's cute, so that's unfortunate. 
But yeah, this is giving me like Karen vibes if she was a brunette with the highlights. I just can't. I don't, I don't think this is a winner, unfortunately. Let's do the next one. I actually have two wigs left. I don't know what I'm talking about. So here's another brown wig. Uh, let's, let's see, let's see what the situation is. Um, this looks a little thick. Oh, my, my word, my, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, she's on. Um, I feel like I need to figure out what I want to do with these bangs. Um, anyway. The thing is, this wig is the most hair out of all of them, which is honestly nice in some ways, but I think it makes it look more wiggy. Like for me, when I'm already trying to disguise and don't really know what I'm doing, this much hair, I don't know if it just makes it stand out more. It's a really pretty rich chocolate brown and I do love the color. It makes my eyes look really blue slash green, but I don't know. This one feels like very fake. Some of them, like some of the blonde ones look really fake too, but I don't know. I think dark hair is hard. I don't know, what do you think? It's giving me Zoe Deschanel vibes though, so. On to the last one, the official last one. All right, here's the last and final wig. Honestly, best for last. This is the wig I wore when I tried to convince you that I dyed my hair blonde. A lot of you didn't believe it, but honestly, some did, and I got comments that were like, girl, if that is a wig, I need to know which one because it looks so good, and I agree. This is such an amazing blonde wig with the bangs, and again, I haven't done any plucking of any parts or anything, and I think if you spend some time really, you know, making this blend in with your hairline and working on it, I just like threw this on really messily. You probably can make it look that much better. I truly love this wig and I think I could actually wear this one. And she's literally from Amazon and I think it is the best blonde wig out of the ones that I tried on in this video. And this is literally what I did. It used to look like blonde though. I had extensions. This was kind of my shade of blonde I had. So you can kind of visualize what I did used to look like. Let me know which wigs were your favorite and which you think could actually be wearable. I think this is the best one as well as the light brown with the bangs. I think that one looks the best on me too. But yeah, let me know if you're gonna buy a wig and if you want more of these videos because I had so much fun picking these out, ordering them and trying them. And it's kind of fun to change your hair identity for a day. So make sure you subscribe. I love you guys and can't wait to see you in my next video.